here. No, I was here. Go. How much wood does a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A lot. It can't chuck wood. Yeah, because woodchucks actually can't chuck wood. Their name's okay. a lie. Hey, babe. Hi. Just wanted to let you know I'm going to be late, so don't keep dinner waiting for me. OK. What are you doing? I'm getting ready. I'm going to see Margaret. I told her that I wanted to meet her because I don't want to fight like this anymore. My nerves are shot. I've been very sad. I've been very stressed. And I just need for her to acknowledge what she did to me and for her to own her part in it all. Marge. Good job here. <sighs> I'm getting ready. I have to go meet Jennifer. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. She called me. Yeah. And I want to work it out with her. I don't want to hurt her, but she also has to reflect in herself and just be like, you know what? I've done crappy things to people and take responsibility for her part as well. I give you a lot of credit for trying, but. Well, I'm going to go. I'm just going to, you know, have a grown up conversation. I got to go. Well, good luck, baby. Yeah, babe. All right, sweet. All right, bye. I'm going to go out for a little bit. Oh, I love you, huh? Go. Listen to Gabby. She's in charge. See you. Bye. How are you today? <laughs> Can I get just anything to drink? Like a hot vanilla latte? Absolutely. Yeah, all right, thank okay. you. You're welcome. I ordered a latte, but I didn't know what That's you wanted. That's okay. I'll wait for her to come over. Yeah? Oh, right, thank you course. for coming. No, yeah. Of course. Yeah. This is for you. Thank you. Oh, it's Hi, amazing. can I just get black coffee, sure. please? Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. So, I want to tell you that what I felt you did was exposed a secret that really, as my husband and I being a couple, all we wanted to do was protect our children from that. Margaret, I, swear. I, never I never dealt with would... this. I never faced it. Today. It was easier for me to avoid it. And, you know, you keep saying, like, I didn't hurt you. You did hurt me. No, you I'm hurt not me. saying I didn't hurt you. Okay, I'm not good. saying you're not hurt. I'm hurt. I'm devastated. Okay, I, but listen, you know. uh, listen, Je Jennifer, I don't listen. Listen, Margaret, I, you I gotta understand. Bad you. I feel bad. Wait, you. Listen, wait, wait, listen, wait. I, I feel bad you're devastated. That, that's, a, that's a fact. I, I, he I am kicked me in the gut, Marge. I did not want to kick you in the gut. No, that's how I felt. Listen, I don't want to hurt you like this. I can't imagine what it was like going through it by yourself. It's horrible that you didn't feel that you could tell your parents, your sister. If I thought you buried this and never spoke about it with anybody in your family, do you think I would have ever said that? I thought that you were going to be like, blow this off. I thought you were going to be like, just the way you said to your mother, who cares what our culture thinks? Honestly, I'm old school. I'm embarrassed. Don't care about what people think. Everyone's a critic. I thought that's the advice you take for yourself. I tried. Excuse me? Is this for you? This is new for me. I didn't have to deal with it before. Well, what is Bill saying? Bill's not saying anything. He's so embarrassed. Well, it's like, it's not about embarrassment as much as like, hey, we didn't deal with this years ago. I don't feel even comfortable talking to him about it because I feel so bad. Yeah, Isn't that crazy? Do you feel bad? I feel bad that like, I was cool for 10 years and now all of a sudden I want to talk about it. And I think, what if? We go to therapy and we come to the conclusion that I don't want to accept it. Then what? What if it just brings us to the realization that we shouldn't be together? And I'm afraid of that. You're going to go to therapy. You think and we can work through it? it? I don't know if I can work through it. I know you're f***ing kidding me. No. You f***ing stayed with him this long. Of course you're working through it. You're not going to let this stupid shit break up your marriage. You know, you don't think I think about it? Like, why did he cheat in the first place? It was always me trying for him. Right. And now he's supposed to try for me, and he's not stepping up to the plate. Like, that night, I was fighting with everybody, and my husband just, like, walked away to the fence. OK. Have a little poof. Why don't you get the out? Don't ever put your hands on me. 
that bothers me more than the infidelity because the toughest years of our marriage really was the first year because we were getting to know each other. And he used to criticize a lot of the things that I would do. And every time he criticized me, I just kept thinking, you know, I got to do better. Like, my goal is to just make him happy. So when he did this to me, I was like, Sh I'm thinking I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. And, and, and this, this is the thanks I get? No, he needs to fight for me. He needs to tell all of you that he's lucky I didn't walk out, that he loves me. Because I'm not hearing any of that, Margaret. And I'm angry about it. I understand exactly why you're angry. I you know, heard but on the guy's night he did stick up for you. He did, yes, finally. He's still a great father. He's still a great person. He's human, and he f***ed up. I do believe people could work through an infidelity. That's not what breaks up a marriage. I was the same age as you. When I did leave Jan, but unlike you, my marriage wasn't good, good like you and Bill. I didn't leave Jan for Joe. My marriage was already broken. You're gonna fight for your marriage, but guess what? He has to fight for it, too. That's it. Listen, you're going through something sh Yeah, and I need all the and friends I can get. You got, don't even worry about it. In a thousand For real. No, for real. For real. No, I know. My intention was not to open up Pandora's box. I do feel very badly. She's so heartbroken. If I thought this was gonna cut you to the core, I would have never said it. I do feel responsible to try and help her feel better. You know what? You don't deserve it. It really wasn't my intention. Listen, you didn't do this to me. You brought it out, but at the end of the day, you shouldn't have f***ing done it. And I take responsibility for my part in this fall. I, I know that I wasn't innocent. I realized that I must have hit below the belt. The way that she met her husband, I thought was very taboo. You know what, Margaret? You're used to an environment of cheating. Your mother someone for 15 years. So forgive me. No, I know. Forgive me no, if I had listen. my judgments and I was shady. And I didn't, I did it to all of you guys. I'm going to be more conscious of the comebacks that I give and not try to do anything that's really going to hurt anybody. I just don't want to fight anymore. And I'm going to try to make my peace with you know, Melissa. And I would you? appreciate your help, because you've been very uh, vocal about the hypocritical. There's hypocrisy in our whole group. It's not just from me. Jackie's mad at me about a rumor that I didn't even Start. She's upset because there was any digging after her and Teresa made up. There's not digging. It seems like something that was put to bed, and you've been through something like that. So she was like, what the f is this girl trying to hurt me for? I get it, but she needs to be mad at Teresa for no, bringing it up. No, because Teresa wasn't calling around. How do you know Teresa wasn't calling?